Hello, hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. Today I'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown on how to uh, tape up a ceiling flan. They're all pretty much, ceiling flans are all pretty much the same. Uh, same design anyway. Just keep a couple of different blades, might be the difference. But first thing I like to do is go through and drop the top base plate down. So a lot of the time it either has a Phillips head or a flat head. Best way is just don't even have to get it. Just loosen it and it'll just drop down. Always make sure you leave your screw or bolt, whatever you want to call it, inside there because you don't want to go losing it. So that way you pretty much can spray over this because it covers it up anyway. Um, and that way you're protecting any of the bare surface that's underneath it as well. So you pretty much just do exactly that. Um, a lot of the time if you're brushing and rolling, you won't even have to do anything other than um, what I've just done there. But if you're going to go for spray, you want to make sure you wrap this up, wrap up your top of your fans, uh, your blades, and then just your lights and cover it all over. So we'll go through and do that now. Like I said, you've got a couple of options. You can use your plastic, which sometimes can be worse because when you are spraying, if it isn't taken down properly, it can flap around. Uh, so your tape is probably, and your paper is probably the best option. We're running on this one. We're running the iQuick hand masker. You can get this straight from Go Industrial. All the good peeps at iQuick. Uh, we're running the iQuip Envo 36mm and the Pro Masker iQuip uh, 270, I'm pretty sure it is, uh, paper. So we're pretty much ready to go. First things first, I'm just going to pull our length, wrap it around this top section, just to, just to be safe. So I always like to sort of start from that back, the back and work your way forward. And just pull it down like that around it, tuck it all in. Make sure it's all nice and secure. Then you've got a couple of options. You can just wrap the next one around, sort of thing, like that. So with your blades, pretty much what you're going to do, just pull out the length of what your blade is. I always have a bit of overhang, it's always good to have a bit of overhang. Then just take it to that bottom sort of corner like that, and you can wrap it over. So there, see how you, uh, if you have extra length, then it can wrap right around on that sort of thing. Just go around like this. Because you don't want to, you want to make sure that you cover up the top as well. Because you are going to get a lot of overspray dust and everything like that. So it's always good to have that with you. Carry a bit of tack tape. Usually I just use the eye quick tack tape. But I've got, I've got this with me, so all you need to do is just tack it on top, tuck it over like this. So just put two strips of tack tape on the sides, and that's all you really need. And then just one on the end. So you just fold it over, you can fold it over the top, bottom, whatever you prefer, doesn't really matter. And that's pretty much it. 
If you do have little gaps here and there around, it only takes two seconds while you're in that spot just to sort of tack any areas like that. If you want to wrap up the bottom, um, just sort of cover it off. But my biggest thing as well, this is probably really important. Um, whenever you're taping up anything electrical, lights, you know, if you're gonna wrap paper over it, and then one of the kids or the homeowners can come through that night and check out what they're doing, they walk, go through and turn on the lights, they don't turn them off, and then they leave, and overnight, if you've got a light on, and you've got wrapped up in paper, you will come back the next day and you will have no house or home. Um, it can definitely start fire. So what we like to do, any lights, fans, anything like that, that's got, um, you know, lights that's gonna heat up, we always like to leave it till the day we pretty much spray to cover any of this type of thing. That eliminates, um, you know, any fires or anything like that starting in the home. So always remember that peeps, cover up all your lights and everything on the last day or a spray day, as we say. So that's, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go through now, cover up the rest of the blades, but that's pretty much a quick rundown on how I like to uh, cover up my ceiling fans. Hope you all enjoy and hope uh, you find this useful. Much love and peace from um, the PBJ family.